In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to scan image file uploads for viruses and malware by triggering a Power Automate flow with an HTTP request. This is a good no-code API solution for protecting your systems against infected image files, which are commonly used by threat actors to exploit vulnerabilities in file upload processes. The virus scanning service references a continuously updated list of more than 17 million virus and malware signatures, including ransomware, spyware, trojans, and more, so you'll have great coverage in a single HTTP request. I'm starting off in Power Automate on the flow diagram page. My goal here is to create a wrapper using the HTTP connector, so the first thing I'm going to do is type in request and select that connector when it comes up below. Right after that, I'm clicking on the when an HTTP request is received trigger. I can't do anything with this post URL field yet, but when I save my flow later, I'll be able to copy the link I need from here to call this flow from an external application. All I'm going to do here is click show advanced options at the bottom and set post as my request method. Now that my listener is configured, it's time to introduce the Cloudmersive Virus Scan API into my flow. To get there, I'm clicking New Step and typing Cloudmersive into the search bar. From the list of connectors below, I'm selecting the Cloudmersive Virus Scan connector. Just as a quick aside here, I use these connectors all the time, so my security information is already saved. But if it's your first time, you'll need to provide an API key at this stage. You can get one by registering a free account on the Cloudmersive website with no commitments. From the Virus Scan Connector Actions list, I'm now selecting the Scan a File for Viruses action. From here, I only have one request parameter to configure, which expects multi-part form data input. I'll be sending my file in that format later on, so all I need to do here is click on this field and select the body option from the dynamic content window. Now that the virus scan connector is good to go, I just need to send a response back to the application which made the virus scan request. To do that, I'm clicking new step and once again searching for the request connector. From there, I'm selecting the response action. Within this action, I can use the headers in the middle to customize which response data the external application will receive. The most important information is the Boolean determining whether a threat was detected, so I'm entering clean result as my first key, and then selecting clean result from the dynamic content window. Below that, I'm setting virus name as my second key, and again matching that with its corresponding dynamic content. At this point, my flow is ready to be tested. First, I'm clicking Save. And once my flow saves, I'm then opening the request trigger and copying my flow's URL. After that, I'm clicking Test in the upper right corner. And then I'm selecting the option to trigger my flow manually. At the very bottom of this page, I'm now clicking Test once again. Since this is an automated flow, Power Automate is going to wait for the external trigger to run the test. I'm using Postman to test this operation, so I'm now jumping into the Postman desktop application. From the home page, I'm clicking Workspace up top and then selecting Create Workspace. I'm giving my workspace a relevant name and then selecting the personal access option at the bottom. Once the workspace is created, I'm opening a new tab next to where it says Overview at the top. After that, I'm copying the flow URL directly into this field here, and then I'm switching the request method from get to post using the drop down on the left hand side. Below the URL field, I'm clicking on the Body tab so I can configure my image file input. 
From the list of input formats, I'm selecting the Form Data option, which aligns with the data the CloudMersive VirusScan connector expects to receive. Within the first available key field that comes up, I'm switching the input from text to file, which automatically creates a file picking option in the value field to the right. From here, I can select my file by navigating my folder path the way I would for any normal file upload process. Now that my Postman request is configured, I can click Send in the top right and wait for my results. As you can see, my request gets a response quickly and I can review the results by clicking on the Headers tab at the bottom of the page. Scrolling to the top of my headers, I can see that my image file received a clean result true response, which means the file did not contain any viruses or malware. If my file did contain any viruses or malware, I could easily use the clean result false response to automatically delete or quarantine the infected file and remove it from my file upload process immediately. Thanks for watching, and feel free to check back in on our channel for more CloudMersive API demonstrations in the near future.